Yeah. This is the intake port. Goes in. These are the seals. Well, the seals are on the motor right here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, these are the water seals. And then these are the oil seals. Those are inside the rotor. So basically, it just runs on the E shaft right here. And this is the rear uh, rear gear. Um, I forgot what exactly it's called. Rear stationary gear. And it has a bearing. There's one bearing. The bearing inside this rotor. And then the other rotor has a bearing. And then the front stationary gear has a bearing. And it just rides along in this shaft. Hey, so come up here. And then these are the, the side, side seals mind. that ride along this thing. These are the corner seals, and then on each side it has an apex seal with a spring. Each of them, everything has a spring. The oil seals have a spring, this thing has a spring, it literally pops up. And when you pull this rotor out, everything starts coming out together because it's a bunch of little stuff. Literally, like it just all falls apart. So you gotta be careful not to lose any little thing. And this is the rotor. It has three apex seals on each side. The back side is exactly the same thing. But this motor still is still good. These just these things lose compression after a time. They 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 file down and then they just they just don't feel compression anymore when it rides along the surface. So these things need to be replaced as well as this every little seal basically mm -hmm. and it builds compression and then you need to check the thickness of this because you don't want this to be as low you know but most of the time when they're clean like this and they don't have any edge wear like chrome missing you're still good but this this side's still good everything on this side is really good Then you gotta do the back. You gotta remove this back plate and the same process over. But that's pretty much it. Just all seals. That's all it is. <laughs> and these dowel pins hold everything in place. But this is the coolant jackets where the water runs through. And it has the seals so that way it doesn't go into the combustion chamber. Same same thing with the oil seals inside the rotor. Doesn't let it all spill out in the block. It just keeps mm -hmm. it in there, it lubricates it in there. So that's, that's pretty much it. These these things are wore down, so I'm gonna have to replace these. You got it? Hopefully, when I take apart the back one right now, the rotor's still good and everything. Okay. Right now, I'm gonna keep count of everything. Make sure I have six of these and six of everything, pretty much. And that's it. Got one, but I don't think it's that big. This one's really good. It has a little bit of edge wear, but all that could be resurfaced out. So all you want to spine is like no big deep scratches or anything. Oh, and then all the coolant passages, they all have to be clean. Because if this little break thing breaks, you'll have a leak. So you got to make sure, you got to get a little scraper. Scrape all of them off. If not, later on, it'll just, when you're cleaning, it'll be broken, you know. Like this one. This one's bad. That big chrome piece missing. That's gonna lose a lot of compression. And then I'm pretty sure right about here it's gonna break. So this one's not really that good. It could be reused, but I wouldn't trust it. I don't know. The rotors are good though. All the edges, they have no wear, like you gotta make sure they're straight. All these are good. The bearings are clean too. There's no copper wear. That's where it's tight in the alternator too tight. That's good. The e-shaft's good. There's a special tool to measure this, but as you can tell, it's, it's really good. Um, yeah, so this is the only thing that needs to replace. Everything else is salvageable.